Welcome back, folks. I'm going to start off by placing some text on my workspace. And in this text, I'm going to replace it with the cap a capital E. And I'm going to take that E and I'm going to bring it up here. I'm going to duplicate that E and just put it right beside. And in there, I'll type capital A. And I'm going to do the same for the rest of the letters that I'm going to need. Now I'm going to take all those letters and I'm going to go to the ellipsis and I'm going to space them evenly. I'm going to tidy them up. That way they're aligned perfectly. And I'll make them a little bit bigger like this. I'm going to change the color of the font to blue for these letters. So I'll come here and I'll change it to a nice bright blue. Now, before we move on, I'm going to change the background color to black. That way we can see the design as we move through this tutorial. For the first letter, the E, I'm going to press enter and I'll type the E four times. I'll do the same thing for the rest of the letters. All right, I'm going to take that first column and I'm going to go to advanced settings and I'm going to decrease the spacing for that E. I'll go up to copy style and I'll just copy that style for the rest of the letters. I'm now going to go back to my first column and I'm going to change the color of the second letter in each text box to white. So now that we've done that, it's time to arrange our letters. So I'll just bring this down. I'm now going to place a rectangle on my workspace and I'm going to arrange this rectangle to cover part of the letters so that the top is flush and I'll do the same for the bottom. I'm going to bring that shape to the front so I'll grab that and just move it to the front and I'll change it to the color black. I'm going to make a copy of that and I'll bring it down here. Now I only want to show about three rows. So where you end will be totally up to you. Now, if you don't like the placement of the letters, now is your chance to change them. And I'm fairly happy with that. So I'm going to come back to elements and I'm going to search for an eagle. I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to place this eagle right here. I'm going to place some more text on my workspace. In this text, I'm going to make it left aligned. And in this text box, I'm going to type football. And I'll also change the color of that font to blue to match my uh, eagles text. I'm going to go to my font selector and I'm going to use a font called shadows into light. This is what it looks like and I'm going to grab this and I'm just going to put it right up here. Now it's a little difficult to see so what we're going to do is we're actually going to place an outline on this text. So I'll go to effects. I'll select the outline option. And for the outline, 
I'm going to make it white. And we can make the thickness a little bit thicker like that. And I'm also going to place this football text behind the eagle. So I'll grab it and I'll just push it behind the eagle like that. There we go. So now it's behind the eagle. I'm going to place some more text on my workspace. And for this text, I'm going to change it to a font called Childling. This is what it looks like. And in here, in all caps, I'm going to type Eagles. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to bring it right up here. I'm going to make it just slightly bigger. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'll grab all four of those text boxes and I'll make them just slightly bigger so that it comes across. I'm going to take a duplicate of that. I'm going to rotate it. And I'm going to place it right here on the side of the eagle. Now, I don't need this last one, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And then the rest of these, I'm going to push behind the eagle. So I'll go to position, and I'll grab them, and I'll just bring and drag them behind the eagle. So now they're behind the eagle. Now, if you like this design the way it is, with the white outline on the football, it's now, you can now go ahead and download it and then re-upload it and remove the background. Now, if you like the design the way it is, there's one more thing that we need to do. If I were to change the background to a different color like gray, you'll notice that I still have those boxes. So if you download this design the way it is, what's going to happen is you're going to go to print it and you're going to get those boxes. So we have to download this design, re-upload it and remove the background. Let me show you. So I'm just going to undo and make the background black again. And let's go and download this design. I'm going to go to download and I'll download this design. So here it is right here. I'm going to remove the background. And I'm now going to click on my design and I'm going to remove the background of my design. Let's change the color of our background now to a different color. We can change it to a gray color. So here it is right here. I'm just going to crop that a little bit like this. And let's make it a little bit larger like that. Now, if you wanted to, in the step before, you could have placed a white outline all around the eagle. And if you would prefer a transparent outline around football, then we could change that as well to the same color as our background here. So let's do that so that we can see the difference. So I'm going to go to edit for the eagle. I'm going to go to shadows. I'm going to place an outline on the shadow and I'm going to leave it as black. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. I'm going to do the same thing for football. So I'm going to grab football. I'm going to go to effects. And instead of that white outline, I'm going to change it to a black outline like that. So let's download this design the way it is right now. I only want page one. I'll download that and let's compare them side by side. And then you tell me which one do you prefer better? So here is the other one. Let's wait for it to finish uploading. Let's remove the background. And here is the second option right here. And both are suitable for sublimation or DTF printing. Although I believe with sublimation, you can't do white. You can't do white. So you'd have to choose another color 
um, for the letters and for the outline here. So what do you think? I want to hear what you think of this design. Which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this tutorial or you learned anything, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. Now, if there are any other designs that you want to see, you can fill out my tutorial form. It's in the description of this video. And if you want to join my live classes, uh, ask me in the comments and I'll give you more information. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.